Today is uh, Friday, February the 15th, 2019, and it is time to finish the Arkansas section of the Washtenaw Trail. Up about 2,600 feet and in the clouds again. And for the first time in my section hike of the OT, I am not alone. I've got the girlfriend, Meg, with me for this trip, so. She's pretty excited, man. She uh, she needed some trail therapy, didn't you? I sure did. So, not gonna be much to see today, but we got five miles to uh, Queen Wilhelmina State Park where we're gonna camp tonight. It's about 3.20, so we should be there a little bit before dark. Point three to Wilhelmina State Park. And we're about three miles in, and the views haven't improved any. Meg's getting the shaft on this trip. I think you're bad luck. No, I uh, I can't complain about the weather. I've had I've had awesome weather every weekend I've come over here. So it's actually kind of cool in its own way. We're coming up on a uh, a pioneer cemetery in about a half mile. So with the clouds. Shouldn't make it extra spooky. Made it to this Pioneer Cemetery. It's just off trail. I think we're going to skip the Vista Junction here. <laughs> we are on top of Rich Mountain right now, which is the second highest point in Arkansas, behind Mount Magazine, 2,600 feet, a little over 2,600 feet above sea level, and it's a total whiteout. Made it to the lodge, otherwise known as the Castle in the Clouds. It's an appropriate name right now. See if they got a fire going here, going here and warm up and dry off. Well, we got camp set up here. <laughs> We're really gonna rough it tonight. This is room 108 in the lodge. It's really nice. I hadn't been here since they redid it, but it's pretty awesome. It's pretty tasty. Day two, we're leaving the lodge, unfortunately. It was a nice, we had a nice stay there. Really, really nice. There's a, had some freezing drizzle up here last night. Ice all over the roof and rails of the lodge and all over the grass. But the car is at Foreign Gap, so we gotta go. Got 16 and a half miles of foreign gap. We're gonna uh, do about half of that today. Made it to the uh, observatory deck at Lover's Leap Overlook, and here's our view today. <laughs> Usually pretty spectacular. 
Not today. Check out all the ice in these trees. Pretty wild. Nice little lunch here at the Washita River. Uh, it's not far from the source of it, but uh, I think we're five miles in for the day. I think we're gonna go a couple more miles, set up camp for the night. Across these railroad tracks. Been hearing trains all morning. I thought we'd, uh, I thought we'd see one. So Meg, she's ready to go. Here's a look at our campsite, night number two. Beautiful spot right next to Clear Fork Creek here. Meg back here collecting some firewood. For dinner we had a pasta side, fettuccine alfredo, now it's time for dessert. We got a little packet gourmet, lemon cheesecake, and some white chocolate mocha, Starbucks via coffee going. That's gonna do it for day number two. A little frosty tonight. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Leaving camp here at Clear Fork Creek. It was a cold and wet one all night and this morning. But we've got uh, about nine and a half miles back to the car. It's right at nine o'clock, so should be there about two o'clock. On the climb out of Clear Fork Creek, and here's the scene. Can't see a damn thing. Meg's back there somewhere. She's loving life right now. There she comes.
climbed up here to the top of this waterfall. Let's check it out. sweet spot right here at Cedar Creek I think's the name of it but uh, we got a quarter mile left to do back to the car it's been a great trip uh, the weather wasn't the best we didn't get the spectacular views up on Rich Mountain Queen Wilhelmina State Park but a great time was had for sure we had a great stay at the at the lodge on Friday night and then waking up Saturday with ice all over the trees and as the temperature started to rise that ice started falling off which covered the ground made it look like a winter wonderland and today these uh well last night that campsite at Clear Fork Creek was awesome and these two uh, waterfalls right here and the icing on the cake so I'm proud of Meg back there this is her longest mileage day, nine and a half miles, and her longest uh, mileage trip of, I think it's 21.8 miles when we get done. So way to go, babe, you're a trooper. Made it back to Foreign Gap. Feels really good to be done with the Arkansas section of the OT. Uh, I'll, I'll see you guys next month, hopefully. Gonna try to take four days and, and finish this thing up. Tallahanna State Park to the state line. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. I'm a diamond in the rough and wild. You're a heart that's just too wild and free. I'm looking for a hand to hold me. You're just looking for a change. To bring me to my knees Oh, some may say You're mad to chase a heart locked away On its own soulless enemy There ain't no thing in this world You'd like to be less than a wounded soul Like me That's what you'll get Falling for me Oh, I'm a mountain, only you can move me All my stones are shaping by your stream But I'm just a girl, ain't never been a savior I'm just a man here waiting for the one I hoped you'd be Some may say I'm mad to chase a heart locked away On its own, so listen to me there ain't no thing in this world that you'd like to be less than a wounded soul like me. That's what you get falling for me.